Hey everyone, I'm Gary Comer, the author of Soul Whisper. The vision of Soul Whisper Ministries is to help increase the mission efficacy of churches. Uh, in short, we, we wanna help you reach more and disciple more for Jesus. The gospel is important. Not every subject has the potential to affect one's present state, their family, their future, and their eternity. I want to tell you the story behind Soul Whisper and the paradigm that came out of it. It all began when I was reading and meditating on a very familiar passage, the, the passage uh, related to Jesus and the Samaritan woman. And on that particular day, something that this woman said popped off the page and like a laser-guided missile would not let me go. She said, looking at Jesus at the well and seeing that he didn't have any kind of drawing utensil, she said, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. And when I meditated on those words, I thought I could not describe more accurately the influence scenario of the current church. You have nothing to draw with. As I observed Christians in, in general, and as I looked at the church across, uh, across the spectrum, we lack sufficient skills, sufficient tools to reach people for Christ. And then she said another thing. She said, and the well is deep. And that, to me, <laughs> was a reflection of, of her recognizing distance and the challenge of distance. And we live in a, in a time, a, a post-Christian, pluralistic time where people begin farther away. And so we have a challenge of reaching people for Christ who are beginning much farther away. And so her words, in a way, were prophetic. She nailed it. It's exactly what we're dealing with in our time, and it's why we need a new way to go about reaching to people. Soul Whisper is an attempt to equip Christians with a new approach that is more effective to help people make the journey into the faith. And so I was seeing many of these things from my own experience, I was in a doctorate program doing research. I was involved in compassion ministries and I was seeing an influence vacuum there. I was a coaching director for a church planting organization and I was seeing minimal fruit. I was consulting church leaders who were admitting to seeing minuscule evangelistic success and I was training literally hundreds of people within the church, people who had come into my class virtually clueless on how to go about sharing Christ in a way that was natural for them and effective with their friends. And so I also thought it was fascinating that the woman said this particular phrase to Jesus because in the physical realm, it was absolutely true. But in the spiritual realm, it could not have been more false. No one knew how to draw the heart like Jesus. His words spoke powerfully into people's lives. He selected his words in a pinpointed kind of fashion to connect with people's situations and needs. Jesus is the soul whisperer. We see him doing some incredible things with different people and having entirely different messages depending upon who he's talking to. We have Nicodemus in John chapter 3 and then the Samaritan woman in John chapter 4. Two entirely different people. How strange it would be if he had the same words for them. Of course, he has very customized words for each. Nicodemus is in a situation that, that Jesus needs to, to break him out of, needs to, in a way, 
disturb his soul. He tells him in very precise terms that all his religiosity meant nothing. He must be born again, born of the Spirit. The Samaritan woman, she's at a well and she's coming and she's been involved in all these different relationships and Jesus looks into her thirsting soul and he communicates that he is the man who can provide living water. Jesus' words were customly pinpointed to these people and we can learn how to speak in that same kind of powerful way in a way that speaks to the deeper places of people's lives. And just like Jesus' words, in, in, in a way that will draw them, their interest, their desire to pursue him and to seek faith. Now, some of you may be saying, that's Jesus. Jesus can have those kind of conversations. I could never do that. But I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. You do need to learn his approach. And there is a, a paradigm, and I broke it down in, in Soul Whisper. It's simply this, these three steps start where they are, and that's very different for us. We're used to starting where we are, but we need to start where they are. Read what they need, and I'm going to show you how to make those kind of reads with people, and then know where to take them. And if we work that paradigm, that approach, we're going to see greater results and fruit for the gospel. The paradigm works at all missional branches, personal evangelism, small groups, community groups, new believer empowerment, compassion ministries, church planting teams, and the global context. There is so much more information that I want to bring to you. I'm very excited about having you come along with us on this ride.